Hey, I'm here with uh, the Marte men from Seattle, uh, and they're going to be playing uh, Surf by Surf West in, in uh, Seattle this year. How are you guys? All right. Yeah, doing good. I am totally stoked to hear more about the bands that are playing the, the, the festival, and it keeps getting bigger every year, and the headliner this year is, is really pretty... Uh, pretty impressive uh tell us some, uh, about how you got involved in doing the show and then we'll talk about the band a little bit yeah uh for that show you know i think we didn't know when we got started that there's actually a pretty large surf community here we weren't listening to other surf bands we were just kind of doing our own thing and started playing shows at uh spots that uh seemed seemed like they wanted surf or garage music which were kind of a little bit of both and um i th i think that was kind of it like we just played shows and at some point uh tian tian don who you've interviewed i think and uh tom head um who kind of put on the show uh asked us to check it out and tian i think he's at every surf show that ever happens the, the guy <laughs> So yeah. he uh, he just invited us, and I I think we played the first year, and we played every one except one. I think uh, one of them we just had to miss, but uh, so it's pretty fun. Yeah, so we're excited. We didn't do last year, so uh, excited to do this year. I mean, it's it's always been growing too. Like it didn't start off as the one day, and then it went up to like two. Now it's like there's so many bands that they're pulling in from different regions to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one day, and now two, and. Yeah, and because this year they've got, this year is really different in that sense because they've got bands from uh, Mexico, from Rhode Island, um, Cetopians from Boise, um, Sacramento, Bay Area too, as well as just a bunch of the kind of regular uh, surf bands in Seattle too. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty exciting that uh, Seattle has, I mean, it has enough, the city has enough to, to do its own festival without outside bands. But like, like you said, it's grown every year. Um, I think because of the interest in, in the community there, w would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Daryl's the uh, in integral part in that. And uh, 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 starting out, we were playing open mic nights at Daryl's uh, and that's kind of, you know, getting our feet and stuff and that's kind of how we got introduced to uh, that this whole scene existed there and uh it does foster that community that that likes that kind of music because of people like tom and, and tian and mm -hmm. uh, people that are in these bands that uh, uh yeah uh, so daryl's is a perfect place for, for a festival like that yeah awesome. daryl's tavern hosts it every year they're in north seattle and it's just a great spot and uh uh, I think the owner is a, he seems like a really good guy and uh, it, it's hard to beat and it's kind of perfect for what, what, where we fit and uh, for a lot of where the other bands fit. Do you think Daryl's is like uh, the consummate place in Seattle to play surf music? Like it makes the most sense? I think, I think I've played surf music more than there that I've played at any other place. So I'd say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are definitely others like Slim's uh last chance uh funhouse funhouse is a yeah. great spot too uh yeah uh what's the place uh whiskey it's in uh Tequila. lucky oh, lucky, oh, lucky liquor, liquor. lucky yeah. liquor. oh lucky liquor i say whiskey <laughs> that, that diverse range of music would definitely uh would be comfortable there yeah yeah they do they do a lot of metal shows but then they'll turn around and have punk and surf shows mm -hmm. uh so it really kind of um it's cool with a lot of places that are really open to different music and and I think in particular have um, people who book who have really good good taste in music, even though they, they book us. Uh, and Tim's, <laughs> Tim's Tavern ought to be on that list. And that is the, oh, the yeah. place we played our first show when it was at its old location. That's right. I forgot about Tim. So if anyone watching this uh, works at Tim's or books there, uh, let's, let's, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So tell me about the start of the vein uh, and introduce yourselves and then we'll go further into the music. 
Oh, I'm I'm Stefan Muerte. Uh, <laughs> I'm the drummer. Uh, I well, actually, also a singer too. But that's like, what is it? <laughs> that's that's another thing. But the uh, what is it? I was not actually the original drummer. They had a what is it? It was Tim or whatever. Jim or Jim Jim Muerte. Jim passed away. Oh yeah, yeah, sad. Uh, but yeah, like what is it? I I got a because I used to play with Jason in a band. Uh, it was the Cosmonauts. Uh, Cosmonauts. like or Cros- <laughs> Yeah, actually, that was on a poster before, but that's like Chrononauts. Uh, when I first moved to the city, and like it was literally like one of the first bands I was in. So then when that fell through, it was like years later. Uh, I was like I didn't have a band or anything like that. And then like Jason hit me up and he's like yo, you want to join, like, you want to check out this band that I'm in right now? We're doing surf and stuff like that. At the time, I was really like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. So I, what is it, I jumped on it, and, like, I really loved what the guys were doing. So, I mean, like, I've been with them ever since, and that's, like, what, seven years or something like that, or six years? Six years, yeah. Six, yeah. really? Yeah, oh 2018 is when we <laughs> wow. started out. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah, right? Yeah. But anyways, yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I'm the drummer. And then, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm Jason, I play bass, and uh, I uh was shopping on craigslist when or perusing craigslist for mo's rights <laughs> and uh that happened to be the the keyword one of the keywords that uh dan used in a post looking <laughs> for uh a bass player for a, a surf band uh, you know, other inspirations in there too and what's funny about that is uh uh a couple of years prior uh i had i had met dan <clears throat> and uh i was working with with a friend of his at the time and and she said Oh, my friend Dan is looking to start a surf band. Uh, would you be interested? And at the time, I was I was really like, no, I really I really want to get my solo music going on, you know. Uh, so I, I wasn't uh, at the time ready for it. But uh, then I ran across that Craigslist ad and yeah. met up with uh, Jim and Dan, and we we hit it off. Yeah, we saw we bumped before we had the band together. We bumped into each other at a Dan Deacon show, and it was like, oh, this is Jason, you know. And, and the funny thing is, Jason was the first person to reply to the Craigslist ad. And <laughs> and it was like, oh, we've met each other. And that's kind of a nice thing about starting a group is, is like you already have uh, people in common and there's that that comfort level. And it it seems like um, that's kind of a, a really nice inseparable thing that our, our I think our styles and music are are different, but very similar at the same time in some cases. And allow us for all this to happen so um so this is a this is a great team <laughs> we feel very fortunate to, to be playing awesome. with everybody here yeah it's like the the dynamics are really good on it too it's like what is it we don't we don't get into a lot of fights which is nice low drama man yeah low, low drama low drama, drama. <laughs> awesome awesome so uh i think i didn't catch your name uh well, i'm jason yeah jason um <laughs> but the man to your right the gentleman oh, to your right oh uh, yeah <laughs> oh you're dan who i've been talking to yeah yeah dan uh i'm the guitar player yeah oh awesome uh now um about the the release that you had just come out with um really really cool uh and like my my favorite thing about it is aggressive surf music, and you guys certainly are that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, some would say we're the Melvins of uh, surf. Right? <laughs> oh, nice. nice, nice, and and the imagery and the artwork are. Uh, I I'm sure you guys knew who they are. They're, they're not the same. At, at the artwork is not the same, but the the Celtic Frost Morbid Tales album. Yes. Yeah, and when I, um, it's like it's, it's like I said, it's not the same, but it was reminiscent of that. When I saw that, I'm like, oh, that reminds me of that. So yeah. I was excited to listen to it, and it's by no means a metal album, but but uh, uh, very. No, Celtic Frost is in there. Voivod's in there. Like you can hear those influences. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It, Especially Voivod, it's a uh, but yeah. The artwork was done by uh, Tom Head, who oh really who with Tien, yeah, yeah. It turns out uh, Tom would post some of the work he'd done in the past, and I I really liked his artwork, and he would do show posters too. And I just asked him, and he's like, "Yep." Yeah. And the funny thing is, we the request I sent him, he he told me afterwards. He goes, "Dan, I he goes in my whole career doing design, no one's given me." 
a task like this with so much <laughs> and when he first got it he's like i need somebody to call and talk to about this and the funny thing is before we even got to talk on the phone like he kind of you know he slept on it and pulled the whole thing together and uh i love it it's it, and if if you look at the intricacy of it it's it's really nice and it's on our t-shirts the hitherto oblivion um uh album album covers on there and uh that's all tom had with uh with us helping out a little bit but tom tom did the work and made that happen and it's it's better than i thought and and i get the celtic frost thing <laughs> you do good, <laughs> good. But, uh, you know it looks like it's satanic but it's not at all not remotely but it, yeah, it yeah. has that vibe going on so it's uh amusing yeah it's kind of like the like lit, like red black white kind of kind of thing it lends to to that kind of totally yeah. Yeah. And, uh, what is the colors of power like like white white stripes like oh what is uh, everybody using those like colors they're good colors too, so yeah yeah they go well together <laughs> yeah so uh tell me about like you said um uh, voivod uh celtic cross influences uh as far as surf music uh well, I, well, a lot of bands uh, consider punk rock, uh, metal, um, especially thrash, uh, be, be because of the muting, uh, influencing modern day surf. I mean, you know, I'm sure back in the day, people when they first heard thrash said, "Oh, that sounds like a surf game with distortion." <laughs> it was the other yeah. way around. Yeah. But what what sort of surf influences do you think? um brought brought you guys together because i know when i talked to you guys in my band when we swapped bands we liked um we ended up playing or sounding writing similar to what we heard and we didn't sound like them but it definitely could tell that we liked those bands yeah i the funny thing is I don't actually listen to a lot of surf. <laughs> so it's, it, uh, you know, in, uh, in one song, like one of the songs we have it, you know, I think the, what I like doing it with it is, especially because we don't have vocals. So you want to keep yourself happy playing the song as well as the listener. So, so we have a lot of changes and things like that. But if you, if you hear one song, it's like, we'll literally have like, a little hint of Slayer, a hint <laughs> of the Go Go's, a hint of Cream, a hint of Faith No More, all in one song, and it's and I, I kind of love that, and and it's not like derivative, you know, it's just like a little tiny something that you throw in there um, because it just influences you, and so that's that's what kind of comes out of it. Um, uh, I'd say for for modern surf bands, I like. Uh, uh, the Trumlo beer gut is great, right. and uh, for Garage, uh, we were just watching it right before this. Uh, Los Peotis uh, are killer. Those guys are, you know, I I, I would steal that singer if I could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he, I'm sure he's doing fine though. <laughs> what uh, what about you guys, surf wise or otherwise? Uh, yeah, I uh, I like a lot of surf music. I got into it as a teenager, and uh, uh. You know Dick Dale. I mean, he, Dick Dale. You talk about the, the surf influencing the metal and the metal influencing the surf. I'm sure Dick Dale would be like, "Well, you know, I influenced it all." Right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Dick Dale music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, the uh, Bellers get a little bit of that too. Yeah. And the Ventures. And I, you know, I, I loved everything they did. Huge fan. Uh, so it, I did a surf radio show with a friend in the in the '90s as well on college radio, at and there was that in the '90s where all all of that was. All those new bands are coming out in the '90s. Basically, I don't know what wave of surf that was considered, but uh, Manor Astro Man, you know, was probably one of my favorites to come out of that. And I, their live show is amazing. I've seen them so many times. Uh, was in a surf band while we were doing this radio show in Southern New Mexico, and uh, got to open up for the uh, Los Straight Jackets when they came through town. And oh wow! Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I've, I've steeped in surf a lot, and it's like. Uh, it's not something I listen to every day, but I I certainly enjoy that style of music. I listen to plenty of other stuff too, but a lot of surf, yeah. Awesome. Uh, I think what is it? I've been kind of like what is it? I like 
a lot of bands that have kind of like dabbled in sir like what is it i know uh like i was listening to a lot of when i joined the band i think i was listening to a lot of like hot snakes so it was like that west coast kind of like what is it punk thing or like hardcore or whatever you want to call it and like the what is it it was like a lot of uh john reese's stuff where it was doing like a lot of the faster like guitar stuff and it's like fucking like you know it's a bit it's surfy but it's like not like not like classic surf like right but i mean that like obits like i definitely get a lot of the uh was it the drum stuff from like that kind of like those kind of bands like uh what's it that was like rick froberg's kind of band with uh i forget it was like sebida or something like that like the people i was playing with but like that kind of stuff and then um what is it i used to listen to like bobby fuller or, like uh, what is it i know i fought the law on the law one it's like kind of a big <laughs> influence on like what is it my love like what is it surf and like just like i don't know I, I usually find that when i tell people about surf it's always like oh you mean like beach boys and it's like ah it's more like kind of the yeah. deal kind of stuff you know right. so it's like you know that kind of like discrepancy but you know i'm not opposed to going to the beach having a good time that kind of thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know it's like there's definitely like it's not like strictly surf it's just like you know the influences that surf has had on like what is it the newer stuff okay. and then like what is yeah. it seeing that and being like oh i want to be like at that level by getting the influence from them on that kind of stuff too so i mean like you know it goes, it goes across the board like yeah one of the things uh i was introduced to surf at a very young age uh then when uh, like 60s stuff and, and um, when the descendants and all came along especially yes. especially all um, when I heard Bill Stevenson play I was like immediately like attracted to that band <laughs> Ryan it's it's funny you say that uh, to jump in because we have a song on the album called Ride the Mild and that, <laughs> nice. that's a rip off of of uh, Ride the you wild know, descendants exactly yeah and my 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 favorite descendants stuff is the very first two songs they put out before milo was in the band and it was the bassist singing his one song and the guitarist singing his so it was a trio and those two songs um uh uh ride the wild and uh oh something about living in the city i can't remember the name but those two it's a hectic world it's a hectic world yeah those were huge influences just those two songs on me yeah so that i'm glad you you brought that up because that's also ties us back to california southern california where dick dale's from leo fender was uh that whole in fact the name of the band in part two muerte men is a nod to southern california you know be, putting oh. the spanish in there because all of it started down there you know, awesome. then, uh, uh, surf influencing music bands, you know, that, that yeah. incorporate surfing in their sound and, and you end up in the Bay area and you're a big deadbolt fan. I think you left that out. You know? Oh, deadbolt yeah. for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Deadbolt for sure. That was my first surf experience and that, that was uh, mind blowing. Yeah. Yeah. And sorry, I, I interrupted you. You were, you were, no, talking. no, no, no. You, you, oh. I was, <laughs> I was, I was just leading. excited because you talked about it. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I was totally leading you in that direction because I, I noticed that, you know? Yeah, the good the chords I play definitely are coming right out of that because a lot of surf will just play single notes and stuff like that, and that's not us. Like, I was heavily influenced by uh, by Descendants um, and, like, the High Fives, who were kind of an offshoot of that, you know, in, in the 90s. So there's a lot of that in in the music as well Dr drum wise very similar to uh the descendants uh the alley cats uh from from la um they had that like you know that flame thing going on um but but anyways um i wanted to to, to give you the chance to uh say anything or uh ask me a question or or uh you know, just maybe touch on something I didn't I didn't talk about before we sign off. Yes, yeah, guys. Do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> Do I believe in ghosts? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> my da my daughter is like super into like 
you know, she's a, a what, what was that kind of girl, you know, like, oh, yeah. I think mean, you never know. <laughs> and I'm constantly like, no, 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 no. <laughs> tell, tell us a little bit about Pi, uh, kind of how you got your your start with Pi Records, because that's uh, obviously your East Coast. You're you're like right beat. I think where you are in pot and is it Pottstown? Yeah, kind of yeah. Right between between three states. That must be a really interesting spot for music. Yeah. Well, uh, I um, basically right outside of Philly. I spent all, the last couple decades working in Philly in television. Uh, mm. But the Pie Records comes from uh, the 1995 release of my punk band, Down Division. Uh, we wanted to make it seem like we were on a label. So uh, we joked around. We our, our drummer used to joke around about hitting the drum stick, the rim shot at... Uh, at the the pie, yeah. like yeah. that oh, that yeah. angle, and and <laughs> it it was like just an inside joke we all thought was funny, so we called the record label Pie Records, um. So that's like 1995, but and the logo looks almost identical to it. Um, but when I started doing my own thing, I even had a tattoo on my back. I. I kind of took it for my own because the band ended and it really means pure idiot. And uh, there's a tattoo of a pure oh, yeah. idiot up on the back of, uh, you know, so uh, I just needed a name for this thing I was going to do. And, and uh, I said, well, you know, I don't want to take somebody else's name and nobody's taking this. So I'm going to, I'm going to still use that. <laughs> but but uh, it, it comes from the, the Philly punk rock scene. Uh, they're from the drummer, <laughs> and um, you know it's just something. I I I was reminds me of that time, so yeah, that's why I kept it. Nice. Oh, how's the punk scene in like on the East Coast, like especially around like Pennsylvania and like uh, Philly? Like, well, or, I mean, well, like, is there a lot of like surf and stuff like that still going on, or like? There's there's uh there's party nerves uh. Trash Island in New Jersey. Uh, um, Slowy in the Boats in Philly. Oh, yeah, they're good. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. They're really good. And um, and then sometimes the coffin daggers come down. Um, I saw them in Philly. Uh, the, the Bali Llamas came down, too. Um, uh, Philly, not so big on the music scene these days. Uh, when I was there, a lot of it was a lot of punk uh, in the '90s, uh, especially right around that '94 time when everything started to blow up uh, for surf and for uh, punk rock. Like it was really a fun time to be there. And like like you were mentioning, Art Verso for music, uh, he was there when that was happening. That's where he's from, so he was you know in that mix and then uh at a certain point he moved to start a label in uh la but mm. but yeah it was uh uh these these days um they come through like like the master shops will come through and they'll play asbury park in new jersey the high tide festival is really not too like an hour or two away from where i am oh it's not bad <laughs> yeah as a matter of fact, I just uh, I bought the new Hula Girls, and they sent me this and a, a flyer for the the High Tide Festival, and the Hula Girls are headlining this year, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, they're really good. He Spike, the the guitar player, has a a YouTube channel where he does tiki drinks, and uh, oh hell yeah, <laughs> he's like he's like Guy Fieri, and. He goes, and, <laughs> he goes and visits all these tiki bars all over the country and makes videos about them. And the channel is really well done. It's really good. And the band is fantastic. So that guy is, like, super talented. And, uh, yeah, I would check them out if I were you. <laughs> I'd say the, yeah. the pipeline from, like, tiki bar to surf music is very short. And it's very, like... Yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a bartender too and it's like what is it the okay. whole like, is it the you know that kind of like vibe it's just like it's excellent as long as it doesn't get co-opted by anybody else but it's like fucking like yeah. it's, it's a good thing 
But yeah, I mean, like, what is it? We can we can plug out. What is it? Surf by Surfwest. I mean, like, we got a bunch of bands that we can like mention too. Like, oh yeah. Like we got what is it? Oh, uh, so it's like a, that two day thing. We got on uh Friday. We got like the Bonsai Surf. We got the uh, July nineteenth. Oh, July nineteenth. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The two days. So yeah, two days. Like they got uh, what is it? Bonsai Surf. They got uh, what is it? The Strings of Flame. Uh, they're the ones from Mexico. Yeah, they're we great. The Nebu- we got the Nebulas. They're from Rhode Island, coming across like the country for that. And then uh, Boss Martians, of course. And yeah. then like uh, what is it? Saturday. Who we, who do we got on that one? Saturday, July twentieth. Uh, it's Pleasure Island, Viking Surfers, and I I think they're in the process of making an album or just finished too. So they're gonna have a new release, I think. And then uh, Surf Monster from the Bay Area. Oh yeah. Uh, the Magustas from Sacramento. Uh, the Woodhavens, uh, Seattle band, the Seatopians, who are great from Boise. They're like mystery science theater guys, and they <laughs> they caught on that we were too. So I got a kick out of that. Um, uh, the verb tones and then uh closing out del destroyers and, oh, and Marty okay. matter in there too yeah what a great bunch of uh of bands and, and like i know a lot of those guys and they're they're all like super kind and cool but and... they're like the fucking nicest people like the this scene is like the nicest scene like everyone's like fucking going to each other's shows they're all yeah. like super nice and like fucking hanging out like I've never, I've never seen anything bad kind of happen, yeah. but it's like, you know, everyone's just fucking like, they're just there for like, you know, cause we all like surf music. We all like playing music. And it's like, you know, I, I wish the cosmic rays could be there and all that, but it's like, Oh, they're not playing this year. I don't think so. Or it doesn't look like they're playing. Yeah, I don't think they're on. And, uh, Howl's band. Uh, oh, Evanston. Yeah, the Evanston. yeah. So there's a few, I think, you know, they'll probably be on next year. You know, the ones they'll, they'll switch on and off. Uh, but that's like that's the cool thing about Surf by Surf West too is that all these bands have their own sound, and um, you know, <laughs> we have, we have an acquaintance who will go to the show and then leave when we play because it's like too dark for their liking, and then they'll <laughs> come back and listen to the next band, you know. So that's what's kind of cool about it though too is like if you if you like really more traditional surf, you're gonna find some of that there. If you like like you said, you know, like our our tempos average about 180 beats per minute yeah. we're definitely somewhere in the surf punk how punk garage psych spectrum we don't really know <laughs> mm-hmm. uh you know so there's something there for everybody and each band definitely has their own thing going on um so so it's kind of hard to beat from that sense and uh uh yeah really always a good show and i'd just like to say more about daryl's because uh uh sometimes when these bands come through to play this from out of town they're like starting a west coast tour you know or ending it maybe but it's like yeah. you know they work that show in as part of a you know going going out on the road and that's i think that's great but he also daryl's are is a is good at catching bands that are coming from overseas to go play uh surf guitar 101 that will also do like a west coast run on their way there so uh, so I got to see the tremolo beer gut. Yeah, and, they're uh, good. They're really good. Yeah, and I forget who else, but it's a, it's yeah, it, it's great to have Daryl's there, doing that for people like me. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much, guys, and uh, have fun at Surf by Surf West. This will air before that, so uh, you know I'm going to send it back to you guys uh, in your email when it when it posts. And then uh, we can share it like crazy and uh, get the word out so right. you know, more more people can come to the festival. And uh, thank you so much. This is really fun. Yeah. Thanks. Have a good weekend. You too. So, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.